I'm Bob Phillips. This is Texas Country Reporter. Today on Texas Country Reporter. Companies don't have a single resource that you shake the person's hand, describe what you want, and ultimately they will design it on the computer and then make it. I take it all the way through. In layman's terms, I'll take a product from your mind and put it in your hand. Joe Pazinski's mind works a little differently than most folks. Joe looks at the most difficult of fabrication and construction tasks as merely puzzles that need to be solved. Well, couple that with his photomechanical brain along with some fancy software and high dollar equipment, and Joe can make, well, he can make most anything. Anything. We can make a dashboard for, a, for an exotic car. We could do a, a lug nut. We could do a, a simple bracket to hang a picture. We could do a complete extremity positioning device for a, a surgical table application. These machines will, will consistently hold a half a thousandth of an inch, and that's a four place decimal. If you were to put it down, it's .0005 thousandth of an inch. A love of precision and a mechanical mind is something that Joe was born with. He has no formal engineering training. In fact, just a few months after graduating from high school, Joe was making intricate watch parts for some of the world's most expensive brands. And that led to all sorts of high precision professions. I have done extensive prototype systems for uh, wafer fabrication for the semiconductor industry. I spent eight years with the military doing explosion suppression systems, uh, deep sea research vessel, uh, ballast valves for the Japanese uh, Oceanographic Institute, you name it, I've probably done it. I've worked on, on uh, 200 year old clocks. Lately, Joe's been manufacturing stainless steel operating room mechanics for hip replacement surgeons and his son, who seems to have the same exceptional obsessions, often pitches in to help. But when a project comes to an end, well, that's when Joe gets passionate about puzzles. Puzzles, it's Joe's real obsession. Made from steel, aluminum, and wood, hundreds of pieces that will only go together one way. And that's the way Joe thought it up, then built it to go together. And what would take a normal brain days, weeks, maybe even months to solve, well, Joe can usually do it in about 10 minutes. There you go. They are beautiful, functional works of art. And there is one that even intimidates its maker. This, this wooden one, the tall wooden one in the center. This yes, one here. That one right there has 320 internal cutouts that when you build it, you must build it so they're aligned. And in the final stage of assembly on that one, you squeeze it and they all line up. 320 internal grooves. It's a, it's a brutal puzzle. So this is the biggest puzzle you've ever created? Not exactly. Weighing in at a quarter of a ton, it takes two people nearly an hour to assemble, and that's if you know what you're doing. It's called Quest, and it's part sculpture, part puzzle, and all a product of Joe Pazinski's mechanical mind. It was originally created as an entry into an international woodworking design competition. 
I took one of my puzzles and said, I'm going to reproduce it out of four by fours, redwood four by fours. It's big. The famed Guinness Book of World Records recognizes Joe's creation as the largest mechanical puzzle in the world. What they don't recognize is that this puzzle and its smaller counterparts are simply a way to exercise the brain of their creator. A brain that's not like most people's, one that doesn't have an off switch. My wheels are always turning, I'm always thinking. You lay down at night and it's just like watching the TV on the ceiling, you just can't shut it off. It's exhausting actually, and when you finally come up with a solution, you sleep better until the next challenge and back in. But that's the way my mind works. I'm okay with it.